These are the strongest characters in each arc of DBZ from the beginning all the way until the end, with no repeating characters that will show you who is consistently the strongest in each arc, and by the end we'll tally them all up and see, in every arc in the main continuity, who truly is the strongest. In the Saiyan Saga, it's pretty straightforward. Number 3 is Gohan, when he transforms into his grade 8 form. For the brief moment he is in that form, he is the third strongest being in that arc. With a power level of around 10,000, by the end of the Saiyan arc, He's number three. Number two is Goku in his Kaioken times four form. This was the strongest version of Goku, and even though it was only for a few seconds, in those few seconds, his power level reached 32,000. With complete ferocity, Vegeta comes in with a power level of 180,000. By the end of the Saiyan arc, the most amount of power that anyone had reached was Vegeta. Moving on to the Namek arc, this arc begins and ends when they arrive on Namek, up until the defeat of the Ginyu Force. During this period of time, the three strongest characters, number three is Vegeta as soon as he eats the Sensu Bean and gets the Zenkai boost, number two is Goku when he powers up after 100 times gravity training, and number one, even though he hadn't done anything at that point, is first form Freezer, coming in with a power level of 500,000. Moving on to the Freezer arc, this story picks up when they fight Freezer up until his defeat. It's a fight with one dude that gets 50 episodes, so it has its own separate arc. Coming in as the third strongest during this fight is not actually Vegeta, and I was surprised by this. It's actually Piccolo after he absorbs Gohan and Krillin's energy for that brief amount of time and kicks Frieza in the back of the head. The second strongest is Frieza, and of course, number one, the strongest character in the series up until this point, Super Saiyan 1 Goku. Moving on to the Android arc, similar to the Namek and Frieza saga, this is kind of split into two segments. You have the Android arc and then you have the Cell arc. The Android arc would go from the arrival of Trunks all the way up until Cell attains his perfect form. The top three strongest characters for the Android arc is number three, second form Cell. Coming in at number two is Trunks and number one, Vegeta. Even though Trunks and Vegeta had a very similar power around this time and Trunks actually actually produced more of it, Vegeta was by far the better fighter and used his power to make him actually a lot more effective against his opponent. So I'm going to give it to Vegeta here. He even said himself if he wanted to, he could bulk up just like Trunks did and get the same power. He just knew that wouldn't work. Moving on to the Cell games, the top three here is number three, Super Saiyan Goku. Number two, Super Perfect Cell. And number one, of course, Super Saiyan 2 Gohan at full power. In the final saga of DBZ, the Buu Saga, the top three is number three, Ultimate Gohan. Number two, Super Buu Gohan Absorbed. And number one is Super Vegito. That's where DBZ ends, and for a bit of a half-time calculation, going off this format where third place is worth one point, second place is worth two points, and first is worth three points, Goku has eight, Vegeta has seven, and Gohan has five. Those are the top three moving into the era of Dragon Ball Super, starting with the Battle of Gods arc. The top three here is pretty simple, and it's a big change from what we're used to in DBZ. We're going to be seeing a lot of reoccurring gods on this list from now on. Number three is Super Saiyan God Goku. Number two is Beerus. And number one is Whis. Moving on to the resurrection of Frieza, the top three here, I did put Vegeta ahead of Goku slightly because he had been training six months earlier with Whis. Beerus again at number two and Whis is still at number one. Next up is the Universe 6 tournament where not only do we get introduced to a whole other universe and gods, this is when the Omni King first shows up. The top three goes like this, coming in at number three is Beerus and Shumper together, coming in at number two is Vados and Whis together, and number one is the Omni King. The Goku Black Arc is up next, and once again, we get introduced into someone who is even stronger than the Angels, the Grand Priest. This is the first time he shows up, so the top three goes like this. Number three is Whis, or any of the Angels. Number two is the Grand Priest. And number one, again, it's got to be the Omni King. Closing up onto the end of Dragon Ball Super here, we only have three more arcs to go. In the Tournament of Power, since there was every God of Destruction and every Angel there, it actually makes it very simple. The top three are number three, all of the gods, number two, all of the angels, including the Grand Priest, number one again, the Omni King. Next up is the Broly movie, and for the first time in a long time, the Omni King doesn't actually show up in this story, so you can't put him as number one. The only gods that show up in this movie are Beerus and Whis, so the top three is number Number three, Gogeta. Number two, Beerus. And number one, Whis. The final tally up now for the strongest in each arc is looking a lot different, and it is very representative of what's happening in Dragon Ball right now. The Dragon Ball Super half of the tally is completely dominated by the gods and the angels. Goku and Vegeta are sitting there both on one point. Beerus is on eight points. The Omni King is on 9, and Whis is on 13. Over time, as long as stories keep coming out, this will change. But for right now, those are the strongest in each arc.